Did you understand it? Did you read the card? Did you read the card? Did you read the card? Yeah. Nigga. Hi guys! Chai, 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 chai. I know that you have missed us and we have also missed you. But we we're busy making some things for you guys. Oh! oh no, no, you guys don't understand how excited I am. I know that you all are excited. I know you all have missed us. Okay, it's me again, Yama Zinze, aka Stanzze, aka Ahana, aka Ichi, Billy Billy, aka Opaku, one in the one of Ebenini. So, my names are Lala Nze, aka Odoziako, Mazi Ichi, Billy Billy, aka Ah, Mazi Ichi, Billy Billy. No, 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 you put wait, you put wait, you put wait. I know it all. Because I don't want Mazi to be sweeter than me. I'm going to say it again now. So it's going to be sweeter. My name is Lala Nze, a.k.a. Odoziako Iche Bili Bili, a.k.a. Oriako Iche Bili Bili, a.k.a. Lala Obako, Obako Rewan of Ebenile, a.k.a. Mwye Bilonya, a.k.a. Any more you put out for me, I would take it. And together we are the Nzes. Ta -da! <laughs> so hmm. And then I was pregnant. I knew. I knew I was pregnant. I found I was pregnant on the 6th of May, 2023. See, I won't cram the day in my head. I do cram it. So, um, I was on set. Let me just see people how I found out. So, I was on set. I was producing um, one, of the, one of the biggest films you guys will watch in um, 2024. Yeah, 2023, 2024. Radio voice. So I was producing, and um, I'd gone for and did this um, showroom opening. You know, he was opening his new showroom, and Mazi was not around. So even though I was I was on set, I had to make our time to show up for the family because ah, that's our family. I'm doing this for our family business. Yeah, they are our family members too. So I went. So after um, my baby girl Esther. Took me around, showed me everywhere. She now told me, when I went into the office, showed me, you know, the offices. So one of the offices, I was like, well, let's just chill here and be just in Jerry. No go by me, I should film where they drive power bike. No. Alright, let's go. What do you think? I'll be the gangster. Let's go. I go fix me. No do I the work like boss. So, that's how now, um, one of the offices, I was like, I'll, Let's chill here. We now chill them. Me and my Esther baby girl were just, you know, and I took off my wig. She was like, ah, oh God, this is my sister, you, eh? you know they even package. You don't, you don't rush, come out with I said, ah, my dear, I'm really tired. I said, I'm like this, I'm having a headache. And then, I was not even telling her that, but I was feeling headache, and that after the shoot, I wanted to take like one week, you know, break, so that I'll treat malaria and rest. Then my mouth was bitter. I was um, I was filming at the time in in Mauritania. I was I went to shoot something for Ebony Life, in in Mauritania, and um, I know that my wife called Lola called me up one evening, and a couple of times she said we've been talking about back and forth, 
video calls about how stressed she has been. She was, she was shooting something. She was producing a film for uh, RMD. And um, I just thought, when she would call me and complain about headaches, I just thought it was just stress from the shoot. I know how my wife can be really hands-on with projects and all. Um, at a point, to be honest, she stopped even complaining to me because m my, my response will usually be less prey, you know. She knows that me, I don't like taking drugs. I, I would not subscribe to it. But for some reason, she said she, she, didn't, she didn't want me to advise her about drugs or anything. So she would just, you know, sometimes keep it to herself. On this particular day, she said it was really heavy. The he headaches were really heavy. And she wanted, really needed to talk to me about it. So she spoke to me about it. And at the point, we were having a really deep spiritual session on set. Myself, um, Sharon Oja, Beverly Osu, and um, Amara Chukwu and all. You know, we're just talking about the film and how great it's going to be and what we sense about it and we were led to pray. So I'd, I, as soon as we finished talking, I, she has called me a couple of times I didn't pick. I called her back and she told me about the headache and I was like, oh guys, um, please, let's just say a word of prayer for my wife. And when we finished the prayer, I know that Sharon has said, hmm, this one will not be... This one will be no more headache. Madam, go and check yourself. You're pregnant. She just said it in person. I should not said, eh. Ah. See, it's actually not going to check. I was like, check with me. So they take the check. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I sit down. Now so then they, now so then they get the belly, you know. I, I genuinely joked about it. And to be honest, I, I, I sensed it too, but you know how, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't want to be talking about pregnancy. There are a couple of times we really thought she was pregnant and we checked she wasn't pregnant. So for some reason, we just stopped checking and stopped thinking about it and just focused on, you know, our lives and just working and it will happen when it happens. I, mean, I feel like with pregnancy, when you overthink about it and you over try to get it, it doesn't happen. So we just forgot about it and just kept living our, our lives. So I usually will not talk about it. I usually will not bring it up. I usually will not ask if she has checked. You know, until she, you know, comes to me with it. Is that they used to get belly? I beg, I beg, I beg. I mean, I was also joking about it. She's like, no, I'm serious. So she's, ah, I think you should check. Ah, that, that she too, that, you know, she got, when she was pregnant, that that was, you know, her own symptom. I said, mm, I don't hear you. So I just, I just move on from the thing. I say, I beg, I beg, I beg, whatever, you know. And I left after the whole day, the kidney, I left. Then fast track, um, I think like two days later, she now called me that I would have an advice checked. I say, ah, eh, I will check. So me, I was very indifferent about it because me, I really moved my mind from um we won't get belly, you know, we won't get belly. I Jenny just dropped it at the feet of God. And like my mind, in fact, I can't even tell you if I saw my period. Well, I was not seeing my period. I can't authoritatively tell you that, oh, I saw my period, so that's me. Or, oh, I was not seeing my period. I don't even know. As in, I, I genuinely, I can't, I can't authoritatively say when period stops and whatever. So anyway, after I finished coming, so I think on the third day, I just say, okay, maybe I just, maybe I try. Maybe I buy the, the thing. I bought the, um, that strip one, that's that one. I think one thousand or so. I buy that one. I kept it in my room. In fact, the next day I came out when I was going. When I woke up in my, I looked at it. I passed. I didn't check it. So the last day of shoots, I say, ah, today. Let me just even check. Just perhaps, maybe. And I'll check. I thought I just put it in like this. In fact, yeah, as I just put it in, this has never been done. This has never been done. Those three seconds anniversary inside the the UN, I just saw two lines. In fact, I dropped it and I ran out to the room because I was sitting in the hotel. I ran out to the room. My body was shaking. Ah. I shall gather courage a few minutes later and I went back and I saw the two heavy lines looking at me. Ah, I cried. I cried. See, is this how the Lord do 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 his things? You know, I was really, really, really happy. That's I do find out that um, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I called Esther immediately. I, I think it was like maybe 6 a.m. or so. I called her immediately and I was just crying. Like, I'm pregnant. I just checked. I'm pregnant. I was really, really happy. 
So when I started planning how we would tell the pregnancy, you know, the pregnant and the pregnancy, now we would tell it to the pregnant. So that's how it was now ha. Ah, how do we how do we update the pregnancy? No pregnant and pregnancy I have the receiver. The pregnant are that ah the tea that we do in secret so <laughs> It have come out in the public now, you know, and um, so I called um, I called Faye. I told Faye about it, and then um, Faye sent me ideas. I sent to Esther. Esther sent me ideas too. So we looked at all the ideas, and then I think we we, we, we settled for one. And my sister girl Esther planned everything. Me, I didn't even know. She just went ahead, did all the planning for me got the box and everything. We now said we're going to give it to him on my birthday. So he was not even around. He was in, um, where? He was in Mauritania. He was shooting. So he came back on the 9th of April. Her birthday was on the 12th. So apparently she had, I think after that period we prayed, um, that would have been maybe on the, if I remember correctly, just a few days before I came back. If I go back on the 9th, maybe on the, on the fifth or sixth now, I'm not sure, but I know that she did the eventually did the text. She did, had had herself tested a few days before I got back, maybe on the seventh or on that sixth. Yeah, so this would have been happening. This prayer session I'm talking about would have been probably been on the fifth night. And um, long story short, she found she did her test. I'm sure though we we'll see her own version. She did her test. He, he was confirmed positive. I didn't know anything about it. On her birthday, we were busy. She was just saying, oh, she's so happy. You know, uh, those were so happy on that particular birthday. I said, oh, God, ah, thank you for another year. Thank you. Uh, you know, the way she was, I was thinking, see the, this gift I got for her. These gifts cannot be enough to, because the excitement. I said, it's another life now. It's another year in somebody's life. Maybe somebody, you know, the excitement was too much. Even the excitement was even making me worried. Mm. In fact, it took the grace of God for me not to see this thing. Ah, my God. It took the grace of God. Because if I so many times, I was almost going to just bag him, just say it out. I was going to wait for his birthday, but ah. <laughs> if I wait to that 15th, there's no way in this world I will not spoil it for that day. You know, it's, it's easier when you're not seeing a person than when you and the person are in the same house. Ah, it's really, really hard. You know, so on that day when he went out, went to go and do love in a hotel. So it's not like, baby, I know you are really excited, but this is how your daily life should be. You should be always excited. You know, you should be always hyper. Oh no, she's so. I went there, SNL came with Aunt Didi. So he said, now they are coming to do birthday for me, you know. They brought me flowers. Oh, so happy. Hey, happy birthday. Yeah. Our friends came, um, Samuel Odeji, I'm Didi, and his wife, Esther. They came to, uh, you know, like, it's not my birthday. People were coming, popping in, and they came and they gave me a box. And and I was wondering, so um, Didi's wife is, is pregnant, too, and when he told me, I was quite excited. And to be honest, in my head, I was like, huh. See, I'm Didi, don't they do too now? God, don't you go still on our own now? You know, those slanted prayers in our hearts, you know? Um, I didn't even know Lola was pregnant at the time. So when he brought the box, I, I felt they gave me a gift. Like, it's not my birthday. So I thought, oh, they were giving me like a, an early birthday gift. My birthday is like, my day, birthday is three days after Lola's on the 15th. So it feels like we celebrate together. And I was going to be shooting on my birthday anyway. And that was the only day I had free. So in my head, I'm like, okay, this is also our birthday. Make I just celebrate my own birthday once. Make I know, say, when I'm on the 15th, I'm shooting, I might not have the time to celebrate. So now said, ah, that since his own birthday is just three years after, and they know that he'll be on set, ah, they just brought his own birthday gift for him. So I'm really gave him both. Oh, baby. Oh, hey. Sorry. Yeah, hey. Sorry. You, you have made my baby happy at least. <laughs> Go over the birthday gift for once. I'm telling you. Before his birthday. I'm telling you. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't package this thing. No, package this thing. Yeah, I'm here handle extra. 
Auntie Jamal. 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 Auntie and I'm like, oh, they brought my box, my gift to any. They said I should open it, open it. I opened it. To be honest, it's the strangest gift I've gotten. The weirdest. They say from, from, I saw it from baby. I still have the card. I will, I'm sure they will show you guys. Yeah. Yeah, your card now, Chai. Hey, who got my card yesterday? I know. Yeah. Oh, this one. We have a note for you in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you love my hate. Congratulations, Ooh, congratulations. congratulations. Trust, trust. to all of us. <laughs> God got it. God did. <laughs> uh, it was so confusing. I was reading it. I didn't understand it. So I'm just was saying, yes, yes, it has happened. In fact, I was really touched. I'm like, oh yeah, they're really hoping they're they are giving me a future gift because I think it had like a, a baby clothes inside, you know, small baby clothes and a note from baby. So I'm like, hey, yeah, they are prophesying into my life. I said, these friends. And I don't like all those kind of pity party, to be honest, but it was quite touching. I'm like, hey, yeah, it will still happen. Thank you, guys. Peace out, you know. I, was, I broke down at some point. They were not telling me it has happened. They were in, literally in, interpreting the letter to me. I said, Now check, now read it. I said, I'm reading it, but I'm not understanding. I said, Read it. Yeah, it's just a blessing. She, she's kind, baby. I said, Yes. Yeah. Okay. She, in fact, I can't really explain. What what I'm I'm yes, the, you watch the video you understand. I was so confused. I, I didn't know how to feel. I didn't know it was so confused. I'm like, okay, ah, my baby is pregnant. She didn't tell me. She now went to go and do serenity. Hey, okay, I didn't understand it. That's the best way to explain it. <laughs> We're having a baby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even understand this. <laughs> We're having a baby. Not with me, oh. He didn't read your card. He didn't understand it. He didn't read the card. He didn't read the card. Yeah. Nigga. She's pregnant. Yes. She just had my baby. Yes. Yeah. It's for you. No. I'm pregnant, of course. Jess is pregnant. But she's pregnant. I know. But you know that my baby is a local man. <laughs> local man, see? He didn't even understand it. So he thought that this was like a, like a fake gift, you know? You know when someone, someone gives you something that they actually, like a gift uh, about, you know, their prayers for you and all of that. So he was so emotional. I'm going to be a daddy. <laughs> I'm going to be a father. Are you closing your head? God did it. I, I, I'm not sure you understood the content of the card. Come on. Cheer up. Yes. This is the day that the Lord has made. You know, he read it, he was crying. And maybe, ah, maybe he don't, he shed some fears that day. He was now crying. Ah, Ipun, do you know the content of this? I want you to book it. I want you to. You know, you get. What's up? It's a normal. It's not in advance. It's not in advance. We're here. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. What are you? I don't understand. You know, you told them. <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> it's our baby's clothes. It's how they do announcement. Do this is it. how they do announcement. Hi, daddy. I, I can't wait to meet you. Mama has told me you're the best daddy in the whole world. Mm -hmm. I will see you soon. Love your new princess, princess's sign. 
my favorite godparents, that Didi and Esther. Mm, exactly. My favorite godparents, Didi so, and Esther. Exactly. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so my baby didn't understand this thing. Huh? He think that they are wishing him that make him born. <laughs> he now he now start to be crying as you people can see. It's good. I'm going to attack you. This is mine. This is face. You know, face scene. I'm going to attack you. This one is hanging on our bed. Okay. I'm going to add you. Yes, yes. I want to tell you this thing. It's real, bro. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. Are you dreaming? Yes. We are almost. We are almost three months gone. Yes. 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 I don't Okay, I've, I've got one to one thing. I don't know if I can't call, can't call. Can't say, I don't know I I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't I I I I I You're going to be a father. As I broke it to him, you know, and then when I started, I'm so beautiful thing was it was my birthday, so you know my tribe members had already come to bring gifts for me and greet some birthday. So ah, everybody was just receiving. Yeah, see, I come into your gifts, you know. I give you your own gifts too, of good news, you know. My aunt came, that's my best friend, Shai. Then she was so, 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 so happy. My God, look at this. Who brought this? Wow. Yeah? Who is that our little baby? Who gave you this? Who gave you this? Amen. Our twins. Our um, twins. They don't know they prepare her for winter. <laughs> hey! <laughs> when my brother don't have a bad boy. That's why I think when they give me the thing. Yeah? That's why I think when they give me the thing. Don't tell me to say that. Why you want to travel with me? Huh? Yeah, that's why I think. I think. Look at this. This is not just this thing. I thought he's telling you she's pregnant. You don't get to, you don't get to choose. That's what I think. Oh no, let me read it. What now? That's not. Let me read my letter. Let me read my letter. Let me read my letter. Hold on. Let me read my letter. 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 Let We are handling it with care. Yeah. My brother. Mm. Every morning. Mm. Look good for her. Fitz came. Dam Dam came. I break the news to them. Yeah. Oh, so not told that. You break it well now. You should make we it nicer. Pregnant. We are pregnant. We are pregnant. Ah! It was 
so beautiful. It was so, 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 so beautiful. Um, okay, that's my baby's uh, best friend when he came. So, oh. so for me, yeah, it's, it's very sweet when when you see that, I mean, people, people, your, your, I mean, your tribers love you so much that they might not even, you know, because, I mean, having a child is quite, it's a bit of a sensitive topic. So people don't want to sound insensitive, always asking you, you know, how far, this one, that one, that one. But apparently it's, it's like an innermost prayer, you know, that they make for you and they pray that that particular thing will happen. Because, like, I remember, I mean, because, ah, okay, 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 BVD, it was very, very emotional. Okay. I'm looking at this for me alone. Oh, this this things this thing I'm seeing here. Mm. It looks very it looks so prophetic. prophetic. Mm. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you understand the message? I understand now. I know what's happening. Wait, who who gave it to you? <laughs> You know, they look at foul. Maybe I look at. it and you know instead of having a conversation with him he, he just prayed about it again you know i said ah oh god run this thing for us now you know and funny thing is um earlier in the year in fact that was on the first of on first of january when um i mean new year in our house esther had come esther and um, Didi they had come around and i knew that i was talking to her about it not really about it per se we just gisting. We went, you know, our girls go to corner to gist. So we just gisting, and I know that I mentioned to her that oh, that um, the Thanksgiving service in church, you know, the last Sunday, that for the first time I was very emotional about you know being a mom, and then that day, like I literally, in fact, it just felt like I can't even explain. I can't explain the feeling, but I knew that when I got into church, I was just, I was just very emotional all through. And I think that day I just I just said, God, this thing, I, I just want, I don't know, just run this thing for me now. Like, I've said it that I don't want to have to go to the hospital. I just wanted to, I wanted to stand on God's promise to me, you know. And so in there, it was just, it was just a place of, see God, even help me to trust you more. But you see this thing, just run out for me. Like you can do it. So I was only sharing with her that because you know what random you're just talking and then you know it's like ah that's ah we even praying that I'll pray for you that that she doesn't know but she knows that she trusts God that He will sort it, you know. That I was like telling her that, ah, that actually for the first time that I was really emotional about it in church, you know, at the Thanksgiving service. And I remember telling God that I was gonna come back at the next um December Thanksgiving with my bundle of joy. You know, so she held hands with me. We prayed, we prayed, we cried, we prayed, we declared, you know, and then we just trusted God that God would indeed do it. And ladies and gentlemen, Jesus did it. So, yes, that is it. 
So yeah, I break it to we break it to okay, we break it to we again. Ah, what did we have seen? Oh, so yeah, I mean I broke it to my my close friends. I told Nelly. I went to see her. I was thinking of Nelly are talking to somebody, talking to somebody, talking to somebody. You don't know where you're gonna just drop the something. I just catch her, I said, I'm pregnant. Ah. If I, if I look at it, I'm pregnant. Oh, I'm pregnant. I didn't even know that the girl have such prayer warrior nursing her. <laughs> you know, it was it was it was really really beautiful. I told Auntie B, I'm pregnant. Oh my God! Thank you Jesus! Thank you Jesus! Thank you Jesus! Thank you Jesus! Oh my God! She said she was shouting. She was shouting. You did it. Did you need me? Eh? I mean, at this point, one would think uh, this is his kids. Have you seen? Have you seen? Um, see, this one, these things have been hanging here. Ah, uh, she knows. I've shown that before. Um, she knows. <laughs> So, <laughs> sorry. They're on their way. Thank you, Jesus. They're on their way. Um. <laughs> sorry. You need to scream. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, our girls are on the way. Chi, Chataram, and Chi, Zaraman, Zediegu, they are coming. Two girls, two girls. Um, but I'm, I mean, I'm expecting, this is what I prayed for. I'm expecting twin girls. Yes, because we agreed to have, um, we agreed to go two times. Twin girls first, and then um, Stan Jr. <laughs> you know, that's what people say now. And the boy, next. So yes, I'm expecting, in fact, I'm carrying twin girls. It's been a journey. So we found that we were pregnant at about 19 weeks, 19 weeks. Uh, so the first time we found that I think it was, yeah, 19 weeks, about maybe 18 weeks plus, because we went to the first, first hospital and he said he was maybe six or seven weeks gone. We went somewhere else because she said she was not very comfortable with the first hospital we went to. I wasn't even comfortable with it because I, I just entered the hospital. We go to test. I see say the, the wall crack, brown wall. I said, which kind of hospital will crack like this for our side? They go fit take care of a person. Like, where they never even do their wall where. So they go fit take care of a person. You know, I said that in passing, but, and I had to go to work that morning. So I dropped her. We did the test. She waited for some drugs that she had to get. So me, I, I went to set. And later she came back and said, oh. I was not comfortable with this hospital. This will just be fight any higher, any higher, you know. So we changed hospital, and then it was there that we found that there were 19 weeks gone without even knowing. She didn't know she was pregnant until like that's like five months. She was almost five months before she found out that she was heavy. And um, yeah, it, but it now felt so. She was feeling sick of like headache, dizziness. She was trying to, she wanted to sleep. But you know how you just. I see those symptoms to just um, life and stress from work. She didn't think it was pregnancy. And um, yes, the day we, um, after the test, it felt like when, once we confirmed we were pregnant, she started feeling pregnant. I kid you not, like two, three days after we found out we were pregnant, that line where they show for women, Bele, just show, you know? As if God was really waiting for us to really not know. So as soon as we now knew, all these signs, her body started adjusting to, you know, the pregnancy. Um, yeah, so five weeks gone, imagine our, our shock and excitement too, because for me, ah, that nine months period, it's like a long wait. And I don't know if I have the muscles to over pamper 
you know, but yes, it's come with swollen legs. You know, a lot of things that we, we never, we didn't really know about, you know, we had to start learning on the job because pregnancy is, is work, is work. You just call it work, it's job, you know. Her leg started swelling. She was complaining about swollen feet, but now we know why her leg was swelling. He do swell. He do swell. He do do swell a lot. Um, that and that's all, pretty much. That's all. My leg is swollen. And you hear those, raise your leg above your body, above your body level. You're not lying down like uh, witchcraft. You know how we're in secondary school, when somebody lies, in a lies down the type of way I, I raise their leg, we say, ah, that's witchcraft pose, especially has gone for a meeting. But now, now you're not lying down like, what I don't know. Eh, so yeah, maybe that. Um, We've also uh, had like um, challenge, of, it's not like really a challenge, like a meal, meal change. So she can eat a lot of spicy food too, or a lot of salt because they say it contributes to, you know, um, the swollen feet. And of course, increasing her BP. I did sleep. Ah, I did sleep. I can be talking to you now. When the wind of sleep come, <laughs> nothing can stop it. And then something. <laughs> I don't know where it do come from, but I do do snore. <laughs> now, lolo snore. I can. Is it hard for me to sleep for room? <laughs> In fact, I have one. I have one video. I want to, I will give you opportunity. I will give you to add it. She doesn't know. If you see snow. In fact, I will try and record another one before before this they publish this video. If you see the cane gear, we there's one night I say God, I have to try and sleep before Lola. If I don't sleep before Lola, I'm in trouble. I can't sleep. Mm. <laughs> According to my friend Onye, she said that's not snoring, that's that's generator sound. In fact, they call me Mikano generator now. I <laughs> say Jehovah. I don't know if it's the is the baby inside that is snoring or what. Like, oh my god, I don't know. I don't know how this started though. Just like that. Within a few weeks, I just noticed that, ah, you know, you're snoring, they wake you. So then, I, I'm about to see, but I don't do anything. <laughs> Even me, I will hear the sound. The sound can wake me sometimes, and I will now go back. So imagine the personality. My husband is a good man. That's all I can say. He's quite a hero. Because I don't even know how he has not even left me in the room since all these days. Um, the f for her, sleeping pattern, she has to sleep on the left side, uh, left side most of the time, then right side, if she's tired of that, the other side. So now you can, we cannot really cuddle. In fact, I can't even cuddle Lola because she's going to wake, I can't sleep. It go to put snow, it go, uh, 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 the day she tried it, she slept over my body. I said, God, deliver me from this, oh Lord. Ah, deliver me from this. Yeah, oh, I say, God. Uh, I don't know why. I say, should I go to the parlor? If I go to the parlor, this one will feel bad, though, because by the time she wakes up and she doesn't see me, she'll not say, oh, God, you are running away from me. I'll not sit try on the other side. I now put music. I say, God, just help me sleep. If I can sleep off, everything is going to be all right. And to God be the glory, I slept off. Ah, but it's not, it's tough. I wish I could even drop a little soundtrack for you people. Ah, even recorded me. This song like, ah, I can't be bad, me no lie. But I read that she's part of pregnancy things. Yes. Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, don't you know? It's not rich, it's not stop. Well, as I said, the pregnancy is smooth. My Lord is a really strong woman. She doesn't stress me like that. So. Well, let's say she doesn't send me any hand. Maybe if you give me remote, remote good day here, this afternoon all was so annoying. The remote, I could see by herself. I said, just turn left, you will see the remote. She said, just give it to me now. This AC is not swinging. I said, take the remote and swing you. 
Bassam se gambiou na rede. Você acha que o Mandinga está cantando? Hum, those are just to, to mention a few challenges. Now they don't make me breakfast like that again. Oh, we drink a smoothie for breakfast because she has to drink her smoothie. So I have to taste, I have to take some of that smoothie. So I help myself with breakfast most of the time. Yes. What else? What else? Just general pampa. Just, uh, she doesn't really have crazy cravings. She doesn't really crave anything. Um, out of place. I've heard people that say, oh, maybe in the middle of the night by 1 a.m., Madame will be asking for moi moi. She's not asking for all those kind of these things. Uh, so we are pretty good. Just my pregnant legs is not swelling, <laughs> you know, and uh, my job is not coming out. That's it, too. Ah, but I'm blacking. I forgot about you know, my neck. My neck feels black. Nice. He's, a, he's, a, he's quite darker. Yeah, quite darker. A little darker. Yeah, pretty much. Hilarious idea of costumes, like for my kid. I already planned Mommy and Me, all those Mommy and Hatrian girls, you know. How to slay, you know those, you know that, um, that thing that every girls wear. What is it? Billy Bunny, I be born. That thing. That thing that, <laughs> like Choban, that's like Robo Robo. Yeah. Oh God, I love it. Ah, let me show you a sample. So cute. I have planned all those things. I have planned, yeah, my girls. Ah, we'll be doing baby, all those things. Ah, if we can't even, we can't even hear what. <laughs> eh, the clothes that people have bought for them, they are a lot. For the first two weeks, after three weeks, even one for one month back, but I don't think we're going to buy clothes because the clothes that those children have already is much. So we're waiting for them. We can't wait. You can't even, you can't see. You can't hear nothing. You won't know anything. As in, you can't, you can't, you can't breathe. <laughs> We're gonna blind you with our pink. Yeah. <laughs> I think Charlie's going to look like me. Can't you see my fine everything? My fine hair. They have to carry my hair, hair, my legs, my eyes. The children will look like me. They're gonna be so beautiful. Yes. They, I can touch Lolo, maybe I. They didn't call it Lolo's eye. And what else can they take? They just take everything. Apart from my muscles, Sha. I don't want the girls to have muscles. They will take Lolo's body and take my face. Thanks. My smile. My smile. Gotta be very smart like mommy. You know, very smart. Um, it's not guys my hair that don't grow in front, so don't do that. Don't do that. Make sure your hair is full. Don't do that. I think you can cut your father's hair because my hair in front. So I don't know what's really going on. It's on permanent sabbatical. Hmm. So somebody gave testimony in church today. He just had a baby. And somebody now, you know, called his friend and said, Hey, we're born. And he said, Welcome to one year of sleepless night. And immediately I did like this. He said, That's not my portion. I, I, I mean, I like sleep. Bro. See, a message to teach it around and teach that I'm, please don't stress me. Don't stress daddy, okay? Don't stress me. So that people can be, you'll be sleeping. In the night, you close your eyes and sleep. Rahora, sleep. Let's have peace. My children won't be sleeping. They will sleep well. They will sleep well. I me too. I will have uh, sleep. Because uh, it's picking ways in Papa no go sleep. Me too no go sleep. Bros, we go sleep. We go sleep. We go run out. I'm not a fear that one, no. I go sleep, oh. But I'm ready. I'm ready. I, how many hours I could they sleep now? With my discipline, I go to the gym. Sometimes I do like four hours, five at the max every day. I know I'll probably re reduce. I don't know if I will still be able to go to the gym. I'll probably be carrying them and going to the gym. I'll set the gym up in my house. I just set Jim up in the house so that as I'm walking out, if one person is in the cry, I'll carry him back for for, for back, uh, give him feed him body, go to drink, I'm gonna do my treadmill. Go run out, run out. I have no shaking with the expert on a clear roads, clear roads, clear roads. <laughs>